Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. We pause now to ask God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I recall God's works. What I have seen, I will describe. At God's words were his works brought into being. They do his will as he has ordained them. As the rising sun is clear to all, so the glory of the Lord fills all his works. Yet even God's holy ones must fail in recounting the wonders of the Lord. Though God has given these his hosts the strength to stand firm before his glory. He plumes the depths and penetrates the heart. Their innermost beings he understands. The Most High possesses all knowledge and sees from of old the things that are to come. He makes known the past and the future and reveals the deepest secrets. No understanding does he lack no single thing escapes him. Perennial is his almighty wisdom. He is from all eternity one and the same. With nothing added, nothing taken away, no need of a counselor for him. How beautiful are all his works, even to the spark and fleeting vision. The universe lives and abides forever. To meet each need, each creature is preserved. All of them differ one from another, yet none of them has he made in vain. For each in turn as it comes is good. No one can ever see enough of their splendor. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. He gathers the water of the sea as in a flask. In cellars he confines the deep. By, By the, the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world revere him. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it was stood forth. By, By the, the word of the Lord, the heavens, heavens were made. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Son of Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and called him. Call him, he said. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him along the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In Jesus' encounter today, there are some subtleties that should not be be missed when it comes to Bartimaeus. For Bartimaeus calls out to Jesus, and at first the disciples and the crowd, they shush him. They tell him to be quiet. But as soon as Jesus says he wants him to be called to him, oh, then everybody's like, oh, come on, get up, get up, hurry up, go over to him. He's calling you. Suddenly they're helping Bartimaeus get to Jesus when before they were preventing him from doing so. But the greatest of all the things that really occurs here that demonstrates Bartimaeus' faith is not only that he trusts in word that Jesus is <clears throat> able to heal him, is able to restore his sight, is when he stands up, he throws off his cloak and leaves it behind. Now, that seems like a minor action there in this story but it actually is an action of great faith for Bartimaeus's cloak was all he had it's what kept him warm at night it's what he carried his things in it's where he would receive his alms that were given to him for his support it was his livelihood in so many ways it was his security blanket it was the thing he needed as a blind man to continue to be able to persevere in life. And he leaves it behind, trusting that Jesus can heal him. And indeed, Jesus says that he sees his faith and is because of his faith that he has been saved. And in doing so, his sight is restored. This is the model for all of us, for we are all called to leave behind, like the disciples did, leaving behind their livelihood as fishermen or as tax collectors or whatever they were called to do to follow Jesus along the way. And Bartimaeus is a true disciple because he too, after he leaves behind his security blanket, he receives his sight and it says he follows Jesus along the way. He became one of his disciples. May we too leave behind those things that we feel are securing us in life and realize that we must place our trust and our security completely in him who gives us spiritual sight. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> As a community of faith seeking to open our eyes to the call of Christ, we join together to present our needs to the Father. 
for Pope Francis and all clergy who are who are changed with charged with leading the church in the modern world may God infuse them with his wisdom and the grace they need to answer their call let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our for those in government positions throughout the world may God lead them in the ways of wise decision making let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our for all who suffer from the ravages of war or violence may God comfort them and heal their pain let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our for the elderly in this faith community who suffer the challenges of aging May God send them his consolation and inspire others to be sensitive to their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God welcome them among the saints and the angels as they enter eternal life, most especially for Kathleen McCorriston being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? peace to come to Ukraine and for peace in our own country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Robert Stith to be buried from our parish tomorrow for his wife and children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we present our petitions before you knowing you will grant us all that we truly need through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries, which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Justin, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Jesus the Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Kathleen being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Justin the Martyr, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now as our Savior taught. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For communion, we come up in two lines to the front of the altar. The first row goes first and then the second. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll sing the third verse of our hymn. Open our, my heart, Lord, help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord, help me to Good day, y'all. Thank you, Father.